Welcome to the presentation title, Developing a Crisp Product Training Content for Salesforce. Product information you get from the product department is voluminous, detailed and technical. Can you use this information, as it is in your training for salespeople? Do salespeople have to know all the technical and minute details about products during training? Salespeople don't need every detail about products during product training. So, all the information that is available about products needs to be filtered to suit the sales force. Only then will the training be beneficial to salespeople. Product content needs to make sense to sales professionals. It should help them talk about the product confidently in a sales situation. Therefore, the content that is developed for training should keep this objective in mind. How can this be done? So how does one figure out what is relevant and what isn't to a salesperson while preparing a product training course? How should irrelevant data be weeded out and useful data be presented as crisp content to a salesperson? The answer lies in content analysis. Content analysis is the key to the development of any effective training program, and product training is no exception. Thus, if you need to create a crisp product training content for your sales force, you first need to do a thorough content analysis. What is content analysis? Content analysis involves three steps creation of content inventory evaluation of the content segregation of the content let's look at them in the context of product training. Before you start creating a training program, you need to take stock of all the available content relevant to the course. The information is available in user manuals, product manuals or in detailed references from the product development department. This content inventory will help you get started with creating the content. Apart from text, visuals in the form of tables, charts, pie diagrams, videos or animations are useful for knowledge retention. These elements help to make the content engaging and interactive for learners. Including these elements helps to enrich your course and should be part of the content inventory. In short, the first step in content analysis is to collate all information related to the product. For example information about all the models, versions and different types that the organization manufactures and its position in the product line. You also need to gather its essential features that are key to selling, advantage over its competitors and the benefits it brings to the customer. Next, we have to evaluate the content keeping in mind the scope and nature of the training. In an article titled, Toward Content Quality, Colleen Jones, founder and principal at Content Science gives a few checklists useful for content analysis. She suggests that content be analyzed based on Usefulness and relevance clarity and accuracy completeness and usability let's understand each of them with product training in mind. We need to establish the usefulness and relevance of the material we have collated. Is the content relevant and useful for the salespeople in selling? Is there an immediate need for the salesperson to know about this piece of information? Clarity and accuracy does the content of information that a salesperson can understand easily? Is the information correct and up to date? The information that is given to salespeople has to be clear keeping in mind that they need to demonstrate the features and benefits of the product to prospective clients. The language that they use with clients is the language that needs to be used during the training session. Completeness and usability does it cover all the relevant information that a salesperson requires to do his job? What are the typical questions raised by customers? Salespeople need to have answers to all the possible questions raised by customers. So, we need to analyze if our product training content has all of those answers. Thus, if you are planning to train your sales staff on a particular product, include content that shows the key features, benefits and applications of that product. This will help them showcase the product convincingly to their prospects. The objective of a product training course for the sales force is to help them understand the product well, so that they can sell with conviction to their customers. Therefore, analyze content, keeping this objective in mind. The final step of content analysis is content segregation and prioritization. Segregate the content based on need-to-know and nice-to-know content. Need-to-know content is something that is absolutely essential to know. For example, if the product, 
that you are talking about is pH meters, it may be very vital for your sales staff to learn about different types of pH meters you offer your customers. This needs to be an integral part of the training content. However, it may not really be essential for your sales staff to know when the first commercial pH meters were built and by whom. This information can be categorized as nice to know and can be made available for the more eager learners. Nice to know is additional information that can be learned at a later stage once the learner is comfortable with the basic knowledge. Dumping too much information on the salespeople will result in cognitive overload and may not have the desired impact. Therefore, you need to focus on the essential information that will directly help salespeople to sell. Supplementary information can be provided as an online resource or as handouts, PDF documents, etc. Product training is not about just sharing product information. Product training needs to equip salespeople with essential information required in a sales situation. To read articles on similar topics, please visit blog.comlabindia.com. Thank you.